Today I'd like to talk about GoZ, the one button click between ZBrush and Maya. So once again, you can see here I'm in ZBrush. I have a character with a bunch of different sub tools. Okay. And if the way that I got that character under Lightbox, I just clicked on Demo Soldier here. That's how I got to that point. Um, but, you know, if I didn't have GoZ, I'd have to kind of export each one of these one at a time as an OBJ, bring it into Maya, and then if I wanted to work, go back, I feel like the process would even be longer. So let's take a look at that. And this is the button that I'm referring to here. It's called Go Z. And if you have a program like Maya, and it actually works with a lot of other programs, so if I go to Preferences, come down here to Go Z, I can see that it works with Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max, Maya, Photoshop, and Sculpturist. And if it was the first time that you're using this, um, or if it's not working properly, you can go to Force Reinstall. But if it's the first time using this, you can go to Path to Maya. And then you can choose, hey, this is the Maya that I'm currently using. Because if you were using multiple versions of Maya, you would have to know which one you want to go to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And if you're, um, sometimes the first time you do it, it's going to say, um, you know, force reinstall, and then it says update all paths. It might say, hey, where's the path to Cinema 4D? And if you don't have it installed, go ahead and click, you know, not installed. Even if I have it installed, like let's say if I have Photoshop installed, but I don't want to use it, I'm just going to say not installed. The, the thing is that's important is that whatever program you want to use it with, that, that you find the directory for that, and now it knows to use it. The other thing that it's going to do is it's going to install a file into Maya. Okay, you can see here that it automatically installed something called GoZ, GoZ Brush, and there's a GoZ button here in the shelf. So it automatically installed that. Um, and if not, after you kind of tell it where it is, um, the next time you open Maya, um, it may say, hey, do you want to install that? Just go ahead and click OK, and now it's installed. So that's how we're going to communicate back to ZBrush, and you'll see in a, in a second here. So with this character, um, if I want to send this to ZBrush, if I click on the Go Z button, um, and, and maybe what I'll do is I'm going to just have this one, um, if I can, I'm just going to kind of have this one. Whoa, let's close all that. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to have this right next to it. Okay. And let's close that, and let's close that. Now, if I click Go Z, and I'll just go ahead and hit Continue, it's going to send it automatically to Maya. And even if I didn't have Maya open, it would have automatically launched Maya for me. Okay, great. I didn't touch anything. You can see that it's right here. Um, and it's the level one mesh, or the lowest mesh, which is good. And now let's say if I wanted to edit this. And you'll notice that he doesn't have any of his sub-tools on. Um, and that's because I hit Go Z. So, but if I would hit All, then it would have brought all of his sub-tools. And I'll do that in a second. But go ahead and just kind of watch this. Let's say if I wanted to add some horns on him. And if, it, for whatever reason, it was easier for me to do this in Maya. So now I can go to Extrude. Bring this up. Okay, great. Now he's got some horns. Let's say I was more comfortable doing that in Maya. I actually changed the geometry. Now I can click on this Go Z button, and it's going to go back. And this is a warning. It says, hey, his mesh has changed. Of course it has, because I changed it. Do I want to try to get all of that high-end detail on that? Yes, I do. So I'm going to click Yes. And now we can see that um, he's got the horns on here, plus he's got... He still maintained his subdivision levels, but if I go down here, that is exactly what I have in Maya, as you can see there. And I can go back and forth kind of as many times as I want, and I don't have to kind of worry about losing all of that kind of intricate detail. Now, if I want to um, bring all of his subtools, I could just hit All, and that would bring all of these. So now if I hit All, Continue, um, once again, I don't have to do anything. I can see that it's instantaneously, um, almost instantaneously in Maya right here. And now I could, um, you know, make some adjustments if I wanted to. Maybe I want um, 
I don't know, some spikes on this or something. Um, obviously, you know, the sky is kind of the limit of whatever you want to do. And maybe over here as well. Could I do this in ZBrush? Absolutely. But I feel like, maybe I feel like I've got more control on doing it in Maya. So, um, let's see, extrude. There we go. Okay, and now maybe I want to select it all, and I'm going to send it back. Go ZBrush. Yes. Awesome. And I can see that, um, you know, maybe it looks a little weird here if I go to the vest. Um, and now if I go to geometry, you know, bring this down. There it is. So when I divide that up, of course, it's going to look a little weird. Uh, I might have to kind of you know, kind of baby that, hold down shift and kind of smooth it out, you know, kind of figure out exactly what I'm doing there. But um, I'll just put it to level one here. And if I wanted to create pieces as well, so what I could do is I could say, um, even here, maybe I create um, an inner tube, you know, for back of, lack of a better idea here. And now let's try this. So if I click on this, go Z, and just let that go and then i should have a new sub tool of the um you know of the inner tube and i'll see if it okay brought that in okay so here it is and if i look down here um here's the torus okay so it looks like i brought it in kind of as a separate piece i'm going to try this i'm going to go to append and um here's the torus so if i click on that boom now i have that there and you can see that um this once again this translation between maya and um zbrush is made really simple with something called the gozi um and if i wanted to send something without you know let's say if i wanted it without the vest on or without maybe his backpack now I could click on the visible and it would only send the visible subtools over here too. What's also neat about the Go Z properties, if this guy had a texture on with you know color information and he was UV'd, that that color information would automatically be brought over here and applied in Maya. So you might be saying, well, Dave, they have to you have to flip the texture because it comes upside down um, in Maya versus ZBrush. And that's correct, but it automatically flips it for you. It automatically creates a shader. It automatically plugs in it into the right channels and that type of thing. So really a cool way to save some time and kind of work between the programs. So once again, Z plugin, um, I'm sorry, under properties or under preferences, go Z. Um, is where you can kind of get that started and then that button to kind of get you going back and forth and that'll automatically install the GoZ in uh, Maya and that's what allows you to send it back and forth. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.